Ah, Prism Island looks so much better now all of the colorless spots have been restored. But anyway... Hey everybody, it's Josh again! Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash! In the last episode, we traveled to the Emerald Circus, we helped the Red Rescue Squad fill up the audience, and then we defeated the sixth Koopaling, Lemmy Koopa, and we got back the green color orb, which we used to help repaint Luigi's cart and build a rainbow to our final level. And in this episode, before we head to that final level, there are still two more achievements I have yet to unlock. The first of which being defeat the Rot Paper Wizards. And I believe there are only three more left that I have to defeat, starting with Rochambeau Temple number six. So yeah, we're gonna try and conquer the rest of those Rochambeau Temples too. All right, our sixth temple already. Three more left to be. Alright. So what hints do we have for these battles? The first round opponent isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer, and he never tries the same thing twice in a row. The second round opponent never tries the same thing twice in a row. <laughs> okay, so that's the hint for both of them. So once they choose something, they'll always choose something different. Like, if they choose rock the first time, they won't choose rock the second time. Anyway, the rock paper wizard is in the building. Let's go. The weapons of Rochambeau cannot be sheathed. They forever wait in the palms of our hands, ready to strike. This is the art of Rochambeau. Alright, time for the competitors. In this corner, the whole island can't stop talking about him. It's Mario, Mr. Mamma Mia himself. And in this corner, wearing an armor of sun-kissed spikes, he stalks through the sands with the angry sun at his back. It's Green Pokey! Alright, round one. <clears throat> Alright, since both of them are the same hit, they never use the same thing twice in a row, so for this first round against him, you can pretty much use anything. But when you tie, or win, it doesn't really matter. Although if you do tie, then you'll be able to know which cards he might use next. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try out... Uh, we're gonna go with... Scissors. Yes! Scissors cuts paper! Mario wins round one! Alright, round two. The same guy as the last round, only less green! Pokey! Well, now you know why they said the first guy wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. But just like the other Pokey, he doesn't use the same thing twice in a row, so be careful what you use here. I'm gonna go with my good man, Rock. Ooh, a tie. Back to your marks. Alright, since he used Rock, he doesn't use the same thing twice in a row, so he's not going to use Rock the next turn. He's going to use Scissors or Paper, which means Scissors would be a, the ultimate chance at winning. Well, 
Ooh, another tie. Another tie. What intense premonition. Alright, so he's not gonna use scissors this round. Which means he'll use paper or rock next. Let's go paper. I mean, it is Paper Mario, after all. Yes! Paper covers rock! And now I've beaten both Pokies. He's the only one who stands between Mario and eternal glory. The one, the only, Rock Paper Wizard! <clears throat> Alright. Wrap our sixth battle against the Rock Paper Wizard. So, unlike the Pokies, he can use the same thing twice in a row. He's basically random. So, which one shall I choose? I'm gonna go with this one. Yes! I win! First try! Bah! Who needs it? Another victory! Here is your brand new car! Duh. Got a Kamek card! Nice! And 1,000 coins! So yeah, because there's only 7 Koopalings, but there's 8 Rochambeau Temples, they had to put an extra boss in there, so... They just decided to put Kamek in there, in the collection. You won! Sorry, six out of eight temples defeated. <coughs> or rather, six out of eight rock paper wizards. Alright, that only leaves two more temples left. So it seems now the rock paper wizard has appeared on that green little island to the east. So that's where we're gonna be heading. Rochambeau Temple number seven. All right, here we go again. Temple number seven. What kind of hints do we have this time? The first round opponent is very orderly and never breaks routine. So he kind of goes in a certain pattern. The second round opponent likes to rock the house back to back, but he doesn't like to use anything else twice in a row. So if he uses rock, then he'll use rock twice in a row, but he doesn't use scissors or paper twice in a row. All right, the Rock Paper Wizard is in the building here, too. So here we go. Temple number seven. The Rock, sturdy and true. The Paper, vital and flexible. The Scissors, sharp and sudden. The philosophy of Rochambeau flows through us all, clashing and resolving in an eternal struggle. This is the art of Rochambeau. All right, let's see what kind of competitors we have. In this corner, ladies love him. Men want to be him. It's Mario, Mr. Mamma Mia himself. And in this corner, weighing in at practically nothing at all, the pint-sized pugliest, the itty-bitty bruiser, ouchie, small Goomba!
All right. So it says the first round opponent never breaks routine. So he'll kind of go in a certain pattern with his turns. So I'm going to start out with paper. Ah, oh, you're kidding! Loser. Darn. Beaten by a small Goomba. Tough break. You'll get him next time. Yes, very orderly, never breaks routine. Well, I cost 600 coins to sneak into the temple this time. Alright, rematch against Small Goomba. Let's try again. Yes, scissors cuts paper. So we won against Small Goomba that time. Now, on to the next round, opponent. His small stature betrays a ferocious appetite. The itsy bitsy bug with the nightmarish mug. So cute. Small buzzy beetle! And he falls from the ceiling. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So his hint was he likes to rock the house back to back. So he uses rock twice in a row, but he doesn't use anything else twice in a row. So he'll only use scissors or paper once. Rock smashes scissors. Mario wins again. The once unstoppable king of Rochambeau has arrived to defend his throne once more. It's the one and only Rock Paper Wizard! Alright, the seventh battle against the Rock Paper Wizard. Choose carefully. Hmm. Ooh, a tie. Gonna even match here. All right. Yeah, like I said before, the rock paper wizard doesn't follow any specific order, so you gotta be careful what you choose. Yes, scissors cuts paper. Oh, it is a dark day. We have defeated the rock paper wizard for the seventh time. Another victory. Here's your coins and a brand new card. Got the Lemmy Koopa card. 1,000 more coins. Hooray. That, that's seven out of the eight Rock Paper Wizards defeated. You won! You beat the Rock Paper Wizard again. Which means there's only one more temple we have to defeat. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the Rock Paper Wizard has appeared in the last Rochambeau Temple yet. Because we still have to beat one more boss in order to make him appear. But before we go there, 
I'm gonna be going here to Sunglo Ridge one more time because I was informed that I did miss a cheat sheet opportunity here in this area. As for where it is, well, I'm gonna show you. All right, so the cheat sheet opportunity I missed is actually right where the Spidey is. At this lone tree in the dead end. Oh, and he dropped a Spiny card. Thank you. So right below this tree, you can see it now. It's time for the final cheat sheet. Cheat sheet complete. And that one gives you three different hammer cards. So now that that cheat sheet has been found, it's time to go back to the world map. And yes, I did unlock the achievement for the cutouts. Sizzling scissors for performing all the cutouts or the cheat sheet techniques. Yeah, you can see over here, this last achievement is yet to be unlocked for defeating the last rock paper wizard. All right, so let's go talk to Mario's brother, Luigi. Okie dokie, you ready? Yes! Sounds <laughs> like Mario Kart 8 theme plays. Yes, here we go! Get ready. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> it does like the the start where you like get a instant boost at the beginning. Here we go. Traveling Rainbow Road to Dr. Dark's Fortress. Well, that's cool. Rainbow Road theme is playing from the N64. Well, it sounds like you've been on quite an adventure without me, bro. But at least I can help you out a little bit. With the driving. Princess Peach, here we come. We're getting a close to something. Yahoo! Mamma mia! It leads to a giant creepy rock in the sky. But we can't stop it now. You guys have worked way too hard for me to chicken out here. Hold on. I'm not gonna floor it. Hopefully we don't fly off the road. Remember, Akito is not here to save us. Yeah, funny thing. There are spinies and yet there's no Lakitu which, who throws the spinies. And Dr. Dark has taken over Bowser's castle to turn it into his fortress. Also known as Black Bowser's castle. <clears throat> We made it. You guys be a careful in there, okay? I'll... I'll just wait here. You know, in case you need a ride back. Thanks, Luigi. If anyone gives you any trouble, just give them that mean stare you showed us earlier. <laughs> yeah, they made a reference to Luigi's death stare in the Mario Kart. Alright, Mario. Let's go rescue Peach. Alright. The final level, of, the true final level in the game. Dr. Dark's Fortress. <gasps> there she is! And she's colorless. Look, it's Princess Peach! They drained her color and framed her like some kind of pretentious art. Let's go rescue her. I can't jump high enough. Maybe the hammer I'll whack it down. Yeah, there we go. Oh shoot! It's a trap! I should have known. Trap door. Oof. Okay. Bowser got us with that one. Or rather, Dr. Dark did. But at least we're not surrounded by bad guys. Wait a minute. We got back all six color warbs, but we only defeated six Koopalings. Last I counted, there were seven of them. So yes, it is now time to fight the final and my favorite of the Koopalings. <laughs> Roy Koopa! Named after Roy Orbison. <laughs> He's doing the Shy Guy dance. Oh, and there's his black wand. 
Here we go. The final Koopaling battle. Roy Koopa. The cool, tough guy. And to start off his battle, he and the Shy Guy steal all your paint. Thanks for the paint, old man. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get it back soon enough. Oh, but I almost forgot. We gotta do one more thing before I get the paint back. He also takes your one-up mushroom cards, so you can't do it normally. Alright, now we're ready to rock and roll. And he also transforms his wand into a hand cannon. Here comes your paint, buddy. I told you I'd give it back to you. Buckle up, buttercup. Alright, so starting off his battle... He's going to be using the paint he stole to cause status effects on you. I think the first one is always red. Like, different colors have different effects. So, starting off, we got to use some big attacks on him since he's a boss. Time to get some big jumps in here. Yeah, your pre-painted punk cards are going to come in pretty handy here. There we go. Ah. There's one thing about Roy is that he has a lot of health. Ah. In fact, he has the highest health among all the Koopalings. Ah. Yeah, horribly timed those last jumps. Alright, starting off. His first shot. <laughs> Check it out. I'm gonna splat you with your own paint. How's that for irony? Yeah, that's right. I know what irony is. Boom! I heard knowledge is power. So I started going to night school! <laughs> Blocked it. Okay, first status effect. Mario's Rev of Anger. That's gonna make his attacks twice as fast. That means it's gonna be harder for me to get his action commands in. Alright, so now starting off the next set of attacks. I'm probably gonna miss these horribly. Ah! Yep. Ah! <laughs> there, I got something at least. Alright, now for the next status effect. Orange! <laughs> Mario's feeling self conscious. He can only use pre painted cards. Which, that shouldn't be a problem for me, since most of my cards are already prepaid in. Although, the expression Mario's making looks like he has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> anyway, starting on my next set of attacks. Also, I need to explain Roy a little bit. He's known as Bully Koopa in the cartoons, for obvious reasons. And basically, as long as you're shorter than he is, Roy will push you around. His favorite sport is stealing lunches from second graders in wheelchairs. And I consider Roy to be the most powerful and dangerous ah. of the Koopalings. Although some people also rumor him to be the oldest of the Koopalings, which I don't know if that is. Out of all the Koopalings, I think Roy would be the one to try to take over his dad's place as king. That is, if Bowser would stop being a big bully and let him do it. Ah. A few fun facts about Roy. Roy has a gang but nobody will join it. He also thinks he's totally cool, and loves 50s greaser music, especially when I remix it for him in Nintendo style. But anyway, now green status effect. Mario can't find the motivation. <laughs> so that means his attacks are twice as slow. So now to make it easier for you to get your action commands in. Alright. It looks like the next status effect is going to be yellow. <laughs> this blaze hammer does some pretty good damage against him. <laughs> like a Mario that has flat on the floor. Ah. 
That's some good damage. <clears throat> oh, that time it didn't even ooh, shoot. That time he just ground pounds you. That's just like way to show off your power. A little bit more and Roy should start a second phase. Ah! So yeah, that hand cannon does look very similar to New Super Mario Bros. U as well. Except that he would fire bullet bills from that cannon instead of paint. Here comes the second phase. Bah! This is too slow! Hey guys! Just bring me all the pain at once! So I think he starts this phase whether he takes enough damage or if he uses all the colors. And also some other colors I didn't get to explain. <laughs> the yellow, blue, and purple ones. Yellow would have made you happy to make you unable to use blue cards. Blue would have done the opposite and made you sad to make you only use blue cards. I think the purple one just poisoned you. What are you doing? Mixing all that paint like that is just going to make a bunch of dark matter paint. Oh, wait. That's the whole idea, paint can. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's mixing up real nice. Get ready for a blackout. <laughs> now he fires all the dark matter paint everywhere. Funny how he didn't hit the spot you're standing in. <laughs> And also funny how he's not getting possessed by the Dark Matter paint. But anyway, it's impossible to reach Roy right now because if you try to touch that Dark Matter paint, it's going to hurt you. But it's now time to use his weakness. We are going to be using the washing machine. And then he's gonna have quite a bit of strength left afterwards, so let's go ahead and get some big attacks in. Alright. Let's use the washing machine to get rid of all this dark matter paint. We shall purify this room! Alright, there we go! That also destroyed his cannon. Ah, oh, man, you figured it out. No matter. I'll just have to stomp you the old-fashioned way. And the music cuts back in. Ah! All right, he's almost down. Ah! You might think he's not as strong, considering usually in the third phase they're not that good, but this guy, in his final phase, he hits hard. And you will get comboed. So here we go. No more Mr. Nice Roy. Ooh, what an uppercut. Now both of us are looking tired. Definitely need a Mega Mushroom after that. But anyway, as for what thing card I want to use to finish him off with. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'll use the hair dryer, considering he doesn't have hair, so it's gonna burn him. <laughs> Alright, first let's heal. Oh yeah, that's much better. Now then, let's finish him off. Huh? Ah! Feel the fire! Ah, uh. oh, dang it, that didn't finish him off. Ooh, what a left hook. Well, rather, that was a right hook, actually. Well, whatever. 
I'm hoping this will do the trick. I was hoping the hair dryer would finish him off. <coughs> I wasn't making the fact that he was one of the fact that he was ball. <laughs> anyway, got my one of mushroom cards back. And the final Koopaling is defeated. Wah! How'd you do that? I took all your paint, and you didn't even flinch! You weren't even afraid of the dark matter paint! Well, you may have defeated me, but Lord Bowser won't fall so easily. Well, nap time. Ah! Ah! Who's the tough guy now? Huh, tough guy? You shouldn't even gotten out of bed. The nerve of that guy. You never use a man's own paint against him. There are treaties against that. Anyway, Princess Peach is still up there. Let's go save her. Let's also get all of our paint back. You also get some good recovery hearts. Alright, let's move on. Now we're actually heading into the fortress. What the? What is going on here? This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Look at those huge buckets. Just like the ones that were attached to those airships. So this is where they've been bringing all the paint they stole from Prism Island. But why? And why are they taking the paint into that tunnel? Just what is Dr. Dark planning? I think it's pretty obvious after what's go been going on. There's also a shy guy hiding under the stairs. Let's talk to him. I lost my bucket. That's why I'm hiding here. It's not a good plan. This is the only one I've got. Thankfully, the only colorless spots here are Princess Peach, and that's it. You gotta watch out for these slurp snippets. You gotta get up to that conveyor belt line. Now, we gotta make our way in line by getting rid of one of these paint bucket guys. So, get a first try, you can try to get rid of this one. Luckily, a simple hammer will do the trick. And... BAM! Perfect bonus! <laughs> anyway, with him out of the way, we can now go on to the conveyor belt line. Wait a minute. Seems like I need something. Wait a minute! I think I know. The only time the up button becomes useful! I will summon Huey! Nice try, Mario, but I'm not a bucket, and frankly, I'm a little bit insulted. What are you talking about? You are a bucket! Wait, you want me to pretend to be a common bucket? Well, if it'll help save paint, I guess I can give it a try. There we go. Now the snippet will be fooled into thinking we're bringing the paint in here. There we go. Moving on. So yeah, that's funny how the only time the up button is actually required. Whoa. It's filling those Banzai bills with dark matter pain. This must be some kind of dark matter plant. He's making more dark matter paint bombs. Those are just like the ones that fell on Sunglow Ridge. Do you remember that horrible mess? With this many bombs, he could... Why, well, he could paint the whole wall with dark matter! Hmm. It looks like they're pumping in all the dark matter from that room over there. We have to put a stop to this! So this is where the dark matter is being taken. Or the paint. It's being mixed together. That poor paint! They're mixing all the beautiful colors together without any regard for chromacity. Sorry. I... I just really like paint. How do we fix this? Well, it looks like if we don't hop off soon, we're gonna fall into that dark matter vat. Wait a minute. That flagpole. 
Time to jump off. What, no fireworks? Oh well. Hey, Mario, I have an idea. Those big bombs. Also full of dark matter paint. See those giant bombs over there? What if we blew them up? I bet they'd be strong enough to destroy the dark matter paint tank. Plus, it'll be really fun! Definitely stay away from them when they're about to blow up. Anyway, looks like we might need to use them, so we can just hit this. Make them follow us. Like, why not bring us into a battle with them? Question is, how do we blow up the giant bombs? Do you think a small bomb is powerful enough to ignite a huge one? Hmm. Maybe it is. Nothing over there, so we might as well go this way. Definitely go ahead and save, in case something happens. Intruder alert! Wait a second. That's no ordinary intruder. That's Mario! And now he's gonna be throwing ice balls at us. We made so many bombs already today. What do you say we play hooky this afternoon? Maybe toss the old boomerang a little? Ugh, it's always gotta be the boomerang. Why can't we ever toss the old hammer around? Oh, right. Ah! Oh, it's just Mario. Phew. For a second, I thought Bowser caught a slack off. Uh-oh. Let's make sure Mario can't tell the boss on us. Come on, fam. We'll knock off Mario, and then knock off early. So now we got a bunch of bros to fight. A hammer bro, a boomerang bro, two ice bros, and two fire bros. So, I think the best way to do this would be fire flower, then ice flower. And then if that doesn't finish them off, I'll also use a spike top guard. First, let's get some firepower. That does critical damage to the ice bros, considering they're ice. And then does critical damage to the fire bros, considering they're opposite elements. Perfect bonus! Too bad I didn't get to use the spike top. Oh well, one of them drops a hammer. Ooh, we get to upgrade our hammer once again. Now our max paint is... 370. We gotta watch out for that ice, bro, because they'll try to put a stop to the, the bombs. Oh, what the? There's hammer, bro, riding it. Definitely don't want to hit him. We want the bombs. Come on, guys, follow me. Blow this up. Oh, come on. There we go. I to use the hammer to do it. Okay, now we gotta load the bombs to that big one. Follow me, guys. This way. And, yep, it worked. And that, the dark matter plant is destroyed. Worked! So much for Dr. Dark's bomb factory. Uh-oh. That's not good. With all the dark matter from the tank is flooding the room. How is there so much? And it's rising. Don't let it touch you. You have to hurry. Don't even bother with the cards and watch out for the Banzai bills. Ow! Hurry!
Phew. That was close. I never want to see another drop of dark matter paint as long as I live. Well, that's not gonna happen because... Here it comes! Flooding the room. So you gotta run. There's gonna be quite a few things trying to block your path. Quick, into the pipe! Yaha! We're alive! But now Princess Peach is gone. I'm beginning to understand why you've been fighting this Bowser guy for 30 years up until this game. But anyway, if you pull on the rope, which just appeared, you'll notice there's a secret way in. But, that's gonna leave. Oh. I forgot you can't go back. Oh well. We're gonna be heading to the last Rochambeau Temple and defeating the Rock Paper Wizard one final time here in this abandoned island to the southwest. So if we can beat this last temple, we'll be Rochambeau champions. Here we go, the final temple. Rochambeau Temple 8. Now for the hints. I have absolutely no idea what card the first round opponent will use this time. Wish I could help. I have absolutely no idea what card the second round opponent will use this time. Sorry. Yeah, now the opponents will use entirely random strategies. The Rochambeau Temple 8. The Rock Paper Wizard is in the building. Alright, the final Rochambeau tournament. In this temple, probably the hardest of them all. Fierce warriors have fought and fallen. Only titans remain. The giants of Rochambeau have assembled. No matter how grisly the fight, do not avert your eyes. Today we witness the birth of a legend. This is the art of Rochambeau. Super Rochambeau. With that, the competitors will take the stage. In this quarter, an unstoppable force who holds the world in his hands, Mr. Mamma Mia himself, Mario! And in this corner, the man who puts the shy and shiny, the antisocial assassin, the glittering gladiator, Silver Shy Guy! Round one, Mario versus Silver Shy Guy. Challengers, draw your cards! So yeah, these first two opponents are going to be completely random, just like the Rock Paper Wizard. So, my best bet here is to just go with your gut. break. You'll get him next time. Also, this guy, we gotta talk to him again to get back into the tournament. But now it's 1,000 coins, which is the highest amount of, amount of a fee. Alright, trying again. Tie. Challengers, back to your mocks. Oh, 
Oh! Loser! Alright, trying again. Can't give up here, after we made it so far. tie. Pretty even match here. To change or not to change? That is the question. Oh, come on! Loser. It's like they know. Okay, trying again. Another tie. Rock smashes scissors. And the prize money will always be 1,000 coins no matter which round you win. So if you're gonna like make it past the first round, you can kind of get waived the entry fee. All right, round two. He may be golden, but his self-worth is lower than ever. The 14 karat crusher. Gold Shy Guy. Round two, Mario versus Gold Shy Guy. Challengers, draw your cards. Rock smashes scissors. Another 1,000 coins. But now only one opponent stands between Mario and Eternal Glory. The self-proclaimed king of Rochambeau is on the cusp of being overthrown. Can he defend his crown? One last time! The Rock Paper Wizard! I am the champion! Mario versus the champion. Challengers, set your cards! And which card shall I choose? Hmm. Which one? I'm going with this one. Yes! Mario has defeated the champion! So I won three times in a row with Rock. My favorite of Rock, Paper, Scissors. I can't believe it! Mario has defeated the champion for the final time! Paper. I should have chosen Paper. Victory! You are our tournament champion! You'll be going home with a fat bag of coins. And a brand new car! Got the Roy Koopa card. And our final 1,000 coins. Awesome. That's a wrap, folks. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Wait! Mr. Champion? Mario, I pass the crown to you now. You are truly the king of Rochambeau. And with that, it's time for the Rock Paper Wizard to retire. What? <gasps> what? He was a toad this entire time? As if that's not obvious. But wait, there's another truth. 
So the rock, paper, wizard was really a toad. Deep down, I guess I knew it all along. Did you know what else? Wait, are you seeing this, Mario? Turns out there are multiple rock, paper, wizards. There were this many rock, paper, wizards? Yep, one for each temple. And they're all toads, too. There's a rock, paper, wizard inside all of us. This is the art of Ro Sham Bo. So with that, we have finally defeated all eight rock paper wizards. Let me know now they become baristas and you can see his mask. I don't think the rock paper wizard ever actually existed. Yeah, you can kind of see his mask back there. So yeah, he's right. There is a rock paper wizard inside all of us. There it is, the final achievement flag. The one in Rochambeau For defeating all eight Rochambeau wizards, or rock paper wizards. Last bit of cards. Got a huge hurl hammer. Before we go any further, there's something I need to tell you, Mario. You know, never mind. Now's not the time. Let's keep moving. Actually. I really need to get this off my chest. I feel like we've gotten to know each other pretty well, Mario. Ever since that day when you woke me up by crushing my face with a hammer. We've had some laughs. We've had some hard times. We've even had some mild electrocution. Or rather, you've had some mild electrocution. But through it all, you've never given up on me. Or on finding all the Prism Island's precious color warps. So I guess I just want to say, thank you. No matter what happens next, I will always be grateful for your friendship. Well, there's just one thing left to do. Let's go stop Dr. Dark and save both Princess Peach and Bowser. Okay, you're right, that's two things. <laughs> of course, the last thing I give you is a pain recovery and health recovery. That's your last bit of cards. Go ahead and save. And behind this boss door is the final boss of Paper Mario Color Splash. Which we'll do in the next episode. So see you guys on the other side.